This video is sponsored by two more Cast Tackle Box subscription. Sign up right now for your first month for just a dollar and you can receive a pack of these slip bobbers that we'll be using in this video. Slip bobbers are great for year round crappie fishing rigs. And after your first month, you're going to receive packs of plastics, hair jigs, crankbaits, and other lures you can use to catch crappie year round. So be sure to click the top link in the video description. Welcome back to day three on Bull Shoals Lake. Again, I'm fishing with Kyle Lassiter. Uh, he's the host of the ACC Crappie Six channel. Today I want to talk about the two setups that we're going to be using for this early pre-spawn phase. The first one is the six and a half foot casting rod, just a simple jig, six pound mono, casting it out. And the second one is if we can find schools of suspended crappie, specifically these black crappie have been schooled up real tight, we can use either the eight foot, or in this case we're using the six and a half footer again, slip bobber setup with just a jig. And then later this afternoon, we're actually gonna try out some live minnows um, on some fish that we found that are on some treetops. This first setup is the six and a half foot casting rod, just straight jig, getting these single crappie out of the middle of the creek channels. Here comes one. Yep, there he is. Got him. Took him a while though. I had to really suspend that bait in front of his nose. That's a good fish. That's a big crappie. You got that net. Flipping? Oh man, I, yes. six pound mono, we're flipping? <laughs> yes. Flipping on six pound mono, okay. Look at that, man, that's old tank. Now these are the crappie bull shows are known for, right? Big black crappie? I mean, big that's, black, so that's generally what we came that's what we, that's what we came for. That's right. Pound and, pound and a quarter maybe? Is it in here? You think you got mine too? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I caught it. Let's see what this guy is. 127, yeah, pound and a quarter. Yes. Solid, solid black crappie. Going to live well. In case you missed part one and part two of this video series, Kyle and I have been using side imaging to scan from the mouth of the creek channels all the way up into the creek arms themselves. During this time frame, water temps are somewhere between 40 to 45 degrees. And as water temps warm up, these crappie are gonna transition from the mouth of the creek channels, which is their late wintering area, through the creek channel and into the spawning flats once water temps reach that upper 50 or low 60 degree mark. During this pre-spawn phase, Kyle and I are searching for crappie along river bends. Kyle and I are finding random schools of crappie out in the middle of the creek channels. Some of them are suspended just off the bottom. Oftentimes we're finding single big fish suspended just below the surface as water temps warm up and as weather temperatures warm up, these crappie will slide just below the surface to sun themselves. <laughs> <laughs> a good one too, dude, this is a freaking hammer too. These are some good fish. Oh my That's God. another good black crappie. Ah, yes, sir. Smoked them. another just tank of a black and I mean they're eating it. Starting the morning off right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I pulled my skirt down. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Bang. Yeah. Yes. These are aggressive fish too. Yes, Every one of them is just awesome. It's always nice when you don't even have to check. I know dude. Check on the size for the live well. This guy's 11, 11 and a half maybe. Solid, solid fish. We're gonna be busy tonight cutting up fish. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Good fish? Uh, he might be. He looks big, but he don't feel huge. Nope. Got him? Yeah, but I think it's another one of those. Double banks. Ooh, this actually might be a bigger one. Oh, there we go. This is a better fish, I think. Yeah. Yep. Not even a dink. Another keeper. Healthy black crappie. There you go. Oh, yeah. They're fat, too. Going to the live well. So that was a segment with the six and a half foot casting rod, just a straight jig trying to single out those big crappie in the middle of the creek channel. This next segment is talking about the slip bobber setup, something you've seen me use a number of times. I will link other videos of how to tie this up, but it's pretty simple. You just tie a slip knot above your inline slip bobber 
and just tie a loop knot to a jig head like this. And then today we're using the ACC crappie sticks shank with a clear pattern and chartreuse tail, just casting out on these big schools of suspended crappie uh, in the middle of the creek channel. There's one. Are we still recording on the drone? <laughs> well there is crappie number one on the slip bobber working on getting some uh some drone footage for you guys but super simple setup all uh i already have shown it to you guys that's a, that was the intro part of the video how to show them how to do the tie up a slip bobber let's get back down there see if we can catch another one Get him. Yes, good fish. Lift up. All right. Not be good. That's, yeah, you're good. That's a nice crappie. Yeah. Slip bobbers has got to be one of my favorite way to fish for crappie. There's just something yeah. about watching a slip float go underwater. Take him, take him. Got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him on the bobber rig. All right. Another keeper. Good buddy. Got out of the wind a little bit. Found a real nice school of black crappie. Sweet. So after about an hour of idling around using our side imaging, Kyle and I were able to find a tree with some crappie suspended inside of it and above it. The slip bobber technique is great when you're vertically fishing over a piece of cover. It allows you to keep your jig or your minnow out of that piece of cover, preventing the snag but still allows you to fish for them. As you can see here, Kyle hooks up with a decent crappie. Huge thank you to Don who caught this crappie here for allowing us to stay in his cabin on Bull Shoals Lake, so we were able to fish as much as we want, Black basically nose. until dark, and we just ran back to the dock and parked our boat at his house. So huge thank to him. If you are interested in this slip bobber, you can get it right now for just $1 if you sign up for the Two More Cast Tackle Box subscription program. And after your first month, you're gonna get a pack of cool baits, plastics, some crankbaits, jerkbaits, hair jigs, a bunch of cool stuff that you can catch crappie year round with. So be sure to click the link in the video description. I appreciate you watching. As always, if you got any comments or questions, post them in the comments section below about any of the rigs, the setup, electronics we were using. And as always, you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Until the next one, we'll see you.